What's wrong? You heard what the doctor said. No, well, so maybe we get a second opinion. Hmm? Griff, she was the second opinion. Well, did you hear everyone tonight? They think we're having kids like tomorrow. Everyone knows we're trying. So, maybe we adopt. Celebrities adopt. Politicians create bloodlines. You know this. All right, so how about we hire a surrogate? All right, so I'm supposed to pay some woman we barely know how much to help you do your job? Excuse me? The last time I checked, my only job was to be a good wife and to become a good mother. I can still do that. Yeah, well, apparently you can't. What is that supposed to mean? Where are you going? To have a nightcap, or three, and figure out what to do about us. What to do about us? What, what does that mean? It means I don't know if I want to be with someone who can't have my kids. That's not a part of the deal I signed on for. You know, when I first met you, I always knew you were a shallow prick. But then I thought maybe I could fix him. But apparently, it can't be fixed. Yeah. Well, at least we can thank my mother for insisting on that prenup. We have to go with Carrington, right? I mean, we don't have anything like her in the opening lineup. Got it. Guess what? Early acceptance to a university driving distance from home. Mom. You made it. I made it. Congratulations. You made what? The drill team. Oh, my gosh. Girls got some moves. <laughs> this calls for a celebration. I am ordering you in takeout tonight. Oh, Shanta, honey, that's really sweet, but you don't have to do that. Oh, I'm not paying for it. Your new gallery budget's paying for that. <laughs> <laughs> so did Miss Meadows sing you any praises? Uh, praises? No. She hardly gave me a head nod, but that was a first, so I'll take it. <laughs> Your dad's gonna be so proud. <gasps> oh, 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 yeah, yeah. hello, hello. Yeah. <laughs> so what does that even mean? I mean, practice after school, is you gonna need a car or something? Dad, mm -hmm. don't tease unless you mean it. Yeah, honey, don't tease. She hasn't even taken driver's ed yet. I know, but I'm going to be able to next month because you know what else? Hmm. I'm turning 16 in October. Oh, 16. Our little one's growing up so fast. Don't remind me. Where does the time go? You will always be a little girl to me. Don't forget it. 
So is that what you really want, a car? Because we did talk. If she kept her grades up, we'd get her one. Well, I was hoping that you guys might consider throwing me a Sweet 16 party instead. I mean, Misty and May on my team both had theirs last year, and they were asking if I'm having one. When did you become Miss Social? Come on, Mom, is it so bad that I want to have a little fun while I'm still in school? Besides, I was hoping to make it a benefit. So to help raise money for kids in my class who need assistance paying for their college applications next year. Did you just hear that? <laughs> That's our daughter. Good for you. Yeah. Okay, fine. If you want a Sweet 16 party, we will throw you a Sweet 16 party, and it will be epic. 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 Really? <laughs> Thanks, Mom. And Dad. Him. And Dad. Well, I guess we have to find ourselves a party planner, then. Um, why, can't, why can't you do it? Honey, you know I'm not good at party planning and social stuff. No, I don't. Why don't you uh, tell me? Our wedding? Mm -hmm. Remember? I sent the cake to the wrong venue. I hired that One Hit Wonders wedding band. Honey, you know we both like One Hit Wonders. <sighs> mm -hmm. Okay, fine. But you know, with this gallery opening, I'm just, I'm kind of slammed. And even with Shonda, I'm drowning, so. No, uh, it's fine, Mom. If you don't think you have the time, it's okay. No, honey, of course. I want to help you, and I want to be there for your big day as much as I can. Um, maybe just from the sidelines, though, you know, so I don't ruin your big day. We are going to find you the best party planner ever. My only daughter only turned 16 once. <laughs> what I'm talking about. And just like Kismet, here we are. Is that the kind of team spirit you're going to be delivering at our first pep rally in a couple weeks? I said, how are you doing today, ladies? <laughs> hey, that is more like it. See, we have a few new faces in our midst this fall. Four sophomores. Carrie Anderson, are you Kayla Crosby's daughter? Yes, ma'am. She told me the two of you went to high school together. That's right, we did. She was never really the drill team type, so I'm surprised to see you here. But welcome to the team. Thank you, Miss Meadows. You guys can all call me coach. All right, then. Time to learn our first routine. Yeah, I just feel like a Sweet 16 concept for girls these days isn't what it used to be. Nowadays, it can't just be some silly dance where you crown the birthday girl like an old-school homecoming coronation or something. We're talking top 40s cover band and a severely strict dress code for everyone in attendance. A dress code? No hoochie skirts two inches above the knee. No open-toed shoes. No tuxes or prom dresses or anything tacky or overall snooty. I mean, like, upscale casual. But still something you can hit the ping-pong table wearing. Ping-pong! I love that idea. One mother doesn't. It's a great distraction to help all those boys keep their hands to themselves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I've heard all I need to hear. Kara, do you have any other questions for... Yeah, no, I'm good. Thanks. Nice to meet mm -hmm. you, Dulcie. Okay, you're next. And this is, wait, who are you? Hi, Lindy Shores. Hi, Kayla Anderson. This is my daughter, Carrie. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. I love your dress. Oh, wow, thank you. Well, I, I love your shoes. Oh, thanks. I actually just got them. My mom said the heel was a little high, but I disagree. Six inches would be a little high, but two and a half seems just, just right. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, they're growing on me, I guess. Won't you sit down, please? Thank you. 
<laughs> wow, Lindy, you have a very impressive resume. Political fundraisers, campaign banquets, a re-election gala. Don't you think you're just a tad overqualified? Oh, uh, no, uh, I've... <clears throat> I'm not overqualified. I've, um, I've also done kids' birthday parties and things like that, too. I only put the political stuff on there because my husband is... Uh, was... a congressman. Oh, I'm really sorry for your loss. Thank you. It's, um, been a tough year. Well, it's great that you have experience with fundraisers because I was hoping that this party could actually help raise money for kids in my class who can't pay for their college applications next year. Oh, wow, I love that idea, Carrie, and how kind of you. That's right up my alley. Well, why don't you tell us what else you would suggest if we decided to hire you? I do plan on being a part of the party planning, though, except it's not really up my wheelhouse. I'm usually dealing more in the modern art world. Ah. Uh. Okay, well, my aim would be to give Carrie the most fabulous, classy, super special Sweet 16 that I never had. And I can assure you that if you hire me, you will be the envy of every girl at the party, have the attention of every boy, and be the talk of Crestwood High all year long, just as it should be. <laughs> Maybe I should, should have left my card. Yeah, I'm gonna... Sorry, I forgot to leave my... Well, girls, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of leaning towards the redhead. Dulcie does have the best resume for these kinds of parties. I mean, she's been doing it for years. And who else can make a bunch of variety teens happy? I don't mean you when I say that, Kara. Just your friends. <laughs> I don't know. I, I kind of like Lindy the best. I mean, she just seems really into what I'm into. Okay, um, well, how about I see if I can get Dulcie first? Lindy seems a little elitist for my taste. Okay, yeah, I guess that's fine. Dulcie Lowe, yes? I'm Dulcie. Can I help you? You probably don't remember me, but we ran into each other earlier today. We were both interviewing for the party planning position, Carrie Anderson. Okay. I'm sorry, how did you even find me? Oh, well, strangely, I happened to notice your resume when I was leaving my card and saw that we lived on the same street. Well, I'm actually just, just down there. Um, it's a temporary place while I get myself back on my feet. I'm, um... Recently widowed. Oh, sorry to hear that. The thing is, I just really need the money right now. I don't get the life insurance money for a while yet, and this job just, it means everything to me. Well, again, I truly am sorry for your loss, but uh, if you're so hard up for cash, you could try selling that handbag. It's worth at least $2,000 in mint condition, which it is. Right. I could. If this wasn't the last thing that my husband bought me before he died, clearly it means too much for me to sell. Oh, I understand. Conversely, this job means too much to me to pass up as well. I don't really know why you're so worried when they haven't made a decision, though. Or did they? Dulcie, I will give you half of everything I make, okay? I just need this job. Lindy, is it? Only a crazy person shows up to a stranger's house begging for a job they didn't earn. Now, if you'll excuse me, my Malbec is all aired out and I gotta run. Listen, you don't understand, I need... <sighs> Hush, share. Look, 
I am begging you. I'll give you anything. What's it going to cost to get this job, okay? You a night in jail if you don't leave. Now, goodbye. I'm calling the police! If you ring my door again! Crazy. What kind of person doesn't feel bad when someone tells you their husband was killed? You are cold and lifeless, Dulcie. Do you know that? What the hell do you think you're doing? How did you even get in here? Well, it's a stupid place to hide the key under the little statue. Okay. You're insane. I'm calling the cops. Dulcie, no, listen, let's just talk this through, okay? You get out of my house right now and I'll consider not having you thrown in jail. It's the party planner. What? She says she's unavailable now. That's weird. She was available yesterday. Why wouldn't she just answer my call? Mm. Maybe she got a, a better job offer. Does that mean we can hire the other one I liked? Lindy? Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. I'll call her and see if she's available to meet here after school tomorrow. Wonderful to see you. <laughs> Can't believe I'm actually here. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Won't you join us? I'm gonna bring tea to the patio. Great. <laughs> so you're a freshman this year? Sophomore, actually. Since my birthday is so early in the school year, most of my friends are already 16. I'm the last. I loved being 15. I was on a dance squad way back when. Really? I just joined drill team. Oh, how I miss those days. Well, uh, Maybe I'll have to swing by one of your practices or something sometime and see what the new generation's like. Well, I, I doubt much has changed. My coach is even old friends with my mom. They went to high school together. No way. Your mom just seems so young. I can't even believe she has a daughter your age anyway. How old was she when she had you? Uh, around 23, I guess. Wow. Well, that is just incredible. <laughs> and... I mean, she seems so talented, having her own art gallery and all. You are one lucky girl, Miss Carrie Anderson. Not to mention, you now have the best party planner on the West Coast, playing for your team now, too. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I brought some ideas for you to take a look at. Wow. <laughs> This stuff looks really great, and teal is my favorite color. How did you know? I had no idea. I just love it, too. Wait, you didn't get Nicole Frank and Native Gem to sponsor this, did you? Everyone at school totally loves these brands. 
one of the designers at Native Gem is a friend of mine and married to an assemblyman, so I thought that we would have a raffle at the entry. Thank you, Lindy. Oh my God, this is gonna be so cool. Mom, you have to see this. It's amazing, I heard. I didn't realize you were so well connected. She wants to have a real dance, just like the one I wanted, with a live DJ and everything. And take a look here. It'll be just like having your own junior prom, but as a sophomore. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> is great. Expensive. Carrie, honey, how many people were you thinking of having at this party anyway? I think the house realistically could probably hold 30, maybe 40 max. Oh, no. You don't want to have a sweet 16 here at the house. High schoolers can get crazy, so no. We'll rent a venue, like a, a wedding venue or a big estate, and it'll just be fabulous. Yeah, who's going to pay for it? I don't know. I'm kidding. Okay, look, you know, we probably have uh, a couple thousand dollars to put towards this. The um, gallery budget is kind of killing us these days. How about if I promise that on a budget of $2,000, I can throw Carrie the sweet 16 of the century? Can we agree on that? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, what do we think about Lindy's? She's great as Carrie says she is? Well, she swears that the budget won't be a problem, but I can't help thinking that this party planner is going to end up costing us a lot more than we want to spend. Ah, well, I'm sure it'll all work out. You made us have to remind her that our daughter isn't some birthday diva. Nope. I mean, all she wants to do is have fun with her friends, though, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Till Lindy got her all worked up. I know, I'm, I'm just not so sure. All right. That should be fun. Good night. Good night. Someone call party planner? Lindy, what are you doing here? Well, I told you I wanted to check out one of your drill team practices. And you must be the BFF Savannah. Yeah, I, I love your car. I love your hair. Oh. <laughs> so, shall we? Yeah, let's. <laughs> and five, six, seven, eight. Very nice, Misty. Good form, Savannah. Carrie. Where's the life in your performance? I'm sorry, I, th I thought I had the moves down. Your moves are fine, but where's the life? I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't know what you mean. You paint, right? Mm -hmm. So just pretend it's one of your paintings, only your facial expressions and your movements are the art. All right, to the back. Again, ladies! <laughs> Who's that? Oh, that's her forever crush, Charlie. Oh, and did we invite our forever crush to the party? No. And why not? Well, aren't we sending out invites? Yes, but you always invite a crush in person. I look all sweaty and gross from practice. Are you kidding me? This outfit shows all the right lines. You just need a little sprucing. <laughs> okay, now. Go over there, call him over, and give him no other option but to say yes. Hey, Charlie. Terry, hey. Hey, um, my parents are throwing me this, like, Sweet 16 party, and I was wondering if you could come. Oh, uh, Sweet 16, huh? So what, like a, like a party with, with dance and stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's gonna be the party of the year, so it would be a real shame if you couldn't be there. Oh, yeah? Why is that? I guess you're just gonna have to show up to find out. Well, then, it's a date. And? Here's my number. That way, they can hold you accountable to that. See ya! Bye!
Uh, hey, Mom. What's up? Nothing. Nothing. Just checking in. Everything okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. Why? No, no reason. I, I just wanted to see if you wanted to talk about anything, you know? Like school or the party or maybe talking to boys. Mom, you're being really weird. There's nothing to talk about. I'm fine. Why are you even asking me that? No reason. No, I'm just checking in. I didn't mean to pry. Sorry. Anyway, I have a last-minute installation coming into the gallery tomorrow, so what do you think about asking Lindy to reschedule? Why don't I just meet her tomorrow without you? I mean, we're just going to go over the guest list and the invitation. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I suppose that's fine. Um, why don't you just have her come here after school, and I'll meet you as soon as I can. Cool. Okay. Good night. Good night. Seriously, trying to talk to Charlie again? I am so sorry, girls. I totally don't know what happened. I guess I need to get my brakes looked at. Or maybe you could try watching the road? Uh, well, it is technically a parking lot, but okay. <laughs> Savannah, Carrie, hi. Lindy, hey, uh, this is Misty and May from my team, and this is Charlie. Uh, guys, this is my party planner. Charlie, the one who's been crushing on you? He didn't tell me he was so cute. <laughs> uh, thank you, I appreciate that. It's nice to meet you. Um, I'm looking forward to the party. Well, aren't we all? We're actually just about to have a go look-see at a little special something I've been cooking up for the birthday girl. Savannah, Charlie, want a ride? Oh, no, I'm, I'm good, thank you, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm good, but next time, absolutely. Okay. Shall we, Carrie? Uh, uh okay, uh, I guess, uh, see ya. See ya. Oh, and just a little observation, Misty. You should really lighten up on the eyeliner. It really ages you. Too young and pretty to look so old, you know? Bye, girls. Chair, who must have gotten out of her crate because she's not supposed to be. Your phone is low on battery, so I'm just going to put it on the charger. Is that cool? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Oh, she's so cute. I love dogs. I've always wanted one, but I can't because I'm allergic. Oh, me too. But you can't be allergic to that kind of a dog. I know. I love her. <laughs> okay. Let me. Is this like real wine? I don't think that I should. My my mom doesn't let me drink like ever. Oh, okay, come on. It'll be our little secret, and it's just a little sip. Plus, we need something for us to cheers to your birthday. <laughs> Mm. It's one of my favorites. Now for the surprise. These are all from a very fabulous local bakery, very posh. I want you to try these, pick out your favorites, and we will display them at your big bench. They look delicious. Mm. <laughs> oh, definitely this one. Yeah? And may I recommend the macaroons? They are divine. Is this vanilla bean? Mm-hmm. That's my favorite. Well, what a coincidence. Mine, too. 
And they're all vegan, gluten-free, low-calorie, no dairy, no soy. Isn't that perfection? Mm. Oh, this is my favorite part. We should ask your drill team to perform a little number at the party with you front and center. What better way to get Charlie's attention and show off your entire school your new dance moves? Well, I love the idea, but I don't think Coach will be okay with that. She doesn't really like me that much. Yeah, I noticed that yesterday. Why do you think that is? I don't know. Maybe it's her history with my mom. My mom said that she didn't like her that much either. Hmm. Well... Seems strange that you should have to pay the price for whatever issues she's still holding on to with your mother. Yeah, I think. Mm. Well, you know what? Look, let's let's just wait. Maybe she'll warm up to the idea. <laughs> so, should we get started on the invites? Yes. Okay. You ready, Sharon? Sure? Hey. Hey, I texted you over two hours ago. Where have you been? Yeah, I'm sorry. My phone died, and then when Lindy went to go charge it, she didn't, like, actually plug it in, so then it wasn't charging until right now when we got in the car and I got your messages. I thought you had an installation. I did, and I came home early to meet you guys. So you've been with Lindy this whole time? Yeah. And why didn't you meet at the house? I thought we agreed to meet here. We just went to her house so that I could sample some dessert options for the dessert menu. I mean, it's no big deal. Is that the only thing you've been sampling? Because you smell a little bit like alcohol, honey. Have you been drinking? No, Mom, I haven't been drinking. Lindy had one glass of wine and I had a sip. She had wine and drove you home. She had one glass of wine over two hours ago. Honey... We practically have a glass of wine every night. Thank you. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, the bottom line is I don't like it. And I don't like that you're being so frivolous about it. So I need you to tell us the next time you're going to be late and let us know that you're okay. Do you understand me? Yes. Yes, ma'am. May I be excused? I still have a lot of homework I need to do. Fine. Good night. Bye. What? Honey, look, Carrie's a good kid. There's nothing to worry about. And when you talk with her, just make sure she knows we don't approve. <laughs> oh, trust me, I am making sure she knows we don't approve. Good. <sighs> it's not just the alcohol, though, Chase. She's been acting different lately in general. Honey. She's a teenager. What do you expect? <laughs> you don't think she's suddenly figured out anything, do you? Oh, maybe it's time we just tell her the truth. No. No. No, because we both agree. We wouldn't tell her until the summer after her sophomore year. If we told her right now, it would ruin her entire birthday. I mean, and you don't want that, do you? Of course I don't want that. Coach Meadows? I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, I was just wondering. I'm having my Sweet 16 party the weekend after next, and my party planner thought that it might be fun for the team to perform there. Uh, I was just wondering if... or what you thought about it, or if it was cool with you. Um... I mean, that sounds great, Carrie. But the drill team exists to support the athletes performing at half times and pep rallies. 
not entertaining at your birthday party. Besides, do you really think that you're ready to perform in front of a crowd? Because I think you need more time. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm sorry that I asked. But thank you. school house calls with the basketball coach. <laughs> Something stinks in suburbia. <laughs> Excuse me, can I help you? You're Marlo Meadows and you're Coach Glenn, yes? I'm sorry, but how do we know you? We don't. But you know Carrie. I saw you at the practice the other day. Look, I don't want to be here any more than either of you want the coach's wife to know. I just wanted to show you these. Okay, then. So as you know, Carrie wants the drill team to perform at her Sweet 16. And now that you've seen what I have here, you're going to make that happen if you want these deleted after. Do we have a deal? You're seriously blackmailing me over some silly little party? It's not some silly little party. This is gonna be the party of the year. And what Carrie wants, I make sure she gets. Did Kayla put you up to this? Kayla has nothing to do with this. This has to do with me, you, him, and his wife, Donna. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please don't say anything to my wife. I have two kids at home. Yeah? Well, then maybe you should think about getting back to them, huh? All right, well, I've got places to be, so I've got to go. But I look forward to seeing you both at the party. Have a lovely evening. Bye. So what did she say exactly? Eh, not that one. The neckline's not right. Well, she just told everyone that they're doing the dance at my birthday. I mean... At first, people were confused because I had told them that they weren't. But then everyone got super excited. It was amazing. Wow. Well, that is amazing. Yay! <laughs> uh, well, now this will give you a chance to show off your sexy dance moves to Charlie. Uh, I still need a lot of practice. It's not perfect yet. Uh, that one's okay, but I think we can do much better than okay. Here, try this one on. And anyway, you'll get a chance to get the moves down. Why don't you invite the team to the venue tomorrow to rehearse? Really? Yeah, you gotta look at it anyway. <laughs> Thanks, Lindy, that's perfect. Now, you're pretty awesome. I mean, you're gonna make a great mom one day. Are you okay? Is, is, is it something I said? No, not at all. It's not. It's just that I am. Um, recently found out that I can't actually have children, is all. Lindy. <laughs> Sorry. I am. Um, I was pregnant for a short period, but then I lost the baby and couldn't get pregnant again after. That is so awful. But hey, there's lots of different kinds of options for having kids these days. You can still be a mom. Yeah, thank you. 
And it's just been so nice being able to plan this party with you. It's kind of like having my own adopted daughter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's a really healthy outlook. <laughs> Oh, wow. I think that's the one. Really? Yes. I mean, it's really pretty, but God, did you see the tag? It's way, way outside the budget my mom said for the dress. Shh, hush. I got the difference. What? No. I insist. You want the perfect party, you need the perfect dress. Now, if we just take it in a little bit here, then voila. <sighs> Thank you, Andy. You know, it's funny. You kind of look like you could be my daughter. <laughs> oh, funny, huh? <laughs> Officially had a boyfriend, or would this be the first? <laughs> uh, hi, Mom. Hi, guys. Wait, you didn't try on dresses already, did you? Oh, I'm so sorry, but we have to get this to the tailors by 6 if we want it in time for the party. They have a one-week turnaround. Oh, I, I didn't... Nobody told me that. Well, can we see the thing? Yeah, I'll send you a screenshot, Kay. Okay, well, I gotta go. I don't want to hit traffic. I don't want to be late, so... I'll see you tomorrow at the venue after school, say, 3.30 for rehearsal. Perfect. Okay, great. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> what the hell was that? You guys are gonna love the dress. Seriously. Hopefully more than I love her. <laughs> Okay, talk to you later. Oh, bye. You will never guess what happened. What? The police stopped by earlier asking about that party planner we interviewed, Dulcie. Yeah? What about her? Apparently, she was murdered. What? Yeah, the other night. And your cell and the gallery's numbers were the last number she called, so they want to know what we knew. What did you tell them? That we tried to hire her, never heard back? Now we know why. Wow. Do they know what happened? Said it was a home invasion robbery gone bad. Oh, that is just awful. Right? Should we tell Carrie? Mm, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't. I don't want to make things worse than they already are. What could be worse than Lindy? Ugh. I hate that fake smile she puts on. Oh, we'll send you a screenshot, Kay. And I have to run, otherwise I'll hit traffic. <laughs> right? She's probably the only person who wouldn't feel bad about what happened to poor Dulcie. Oh, God, no. I hate her. Come on, girls, this way. Right this way. Stop. Surprise. Oh, my God. Lindy, this place is incredible. I'm so glad you like it. Like, wow. This is way better than where you had yours, Misty. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> dope. But I guess we could celebrate. Huh? What? Savannah said Lindy wouldn't mind. Okay, uh, I didn't see anything. Just have fun and don't get wasted. The girls have to rehearse your routine later. <laughs> oh, you're not joining them? No, I'm coming with you. I want to check this place out. Okay, look, I don't usually drink, but when I do, I do it for my friend's birthday, so. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> you know what I think? I think you should take the next couple days off and go take care of your girl. You don't need a party planner. What? What are you talking about? I can finish getting everything ready here for the opening. You go help Carrie with the rest of the party prepping like you know you want to. She only turned 16 once. Uh, I don't know. Are you sure? There's so much to be done. Yeah, and I love me some overtime. So go. Go on. Go check out the venue and stuff. Make sure that Lindy girl isn't blowing your entire budget. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. Good. I'm the boss now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Big smiles, girls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kayla! 
Uh, it's so nice of you to join us. This place is amazing. I know, right? I, I got a pretty great steal on this venue. Mom, hey, I didn't know that you were coming. I thought you had a big artist coming to the gallery today. Well, I actually have some great news. Shonda offered to finish up the rest of the installation for the opening, so I am all yours to help with the party. Oh, well, that, that was so nice of Shonda. And actually, that's really great news, Kayla, because we <clears> could <throat> totally use your help decorating this place. Um, Carrie, why don't you show her around? Yeah, Mom, come here. <laughs> um, here. Hi, how are you? Uh, not good. Everything all right? Uh, uh, Shonda, Kayla's assistant, uh, she was attacked last night at the art gallery. Oh, my God. I is everything okay? Uh, we think so. It looks like just a nasty concussion. Oh. They're doing more tests tonight, so Kayla wants to go down there now and check her out. Miranda. We'll see you soon. That was her sister. She said Shonda's awake. I am so sorry to hear about all this. Do you guys know who did it? No. No. Um, whoever it was clearly wanted this new piece that we got in, though, because we had this up-and-coming artist, and they took it. You know, I never should have let her stay there by herself that late. I don't say that. You couldn't have known. Okay. We have to get going. Okay. Well, do you want me to come, too? Oh, my gosh, that's right. We're supposed to pick up the decorations. Uh, you guys, go on ahead, okay? I'm sorry. I can't... Uh, don't, don't even worry about it. Hey, do you mind watching her until we get back? Dad, I'm nearly 16. And they are just looking out for you, of course. I will guard her as if she were my own. I'm sorry, honey. Thanks. Thank you. Tell Shonda that I hope she feels better. Mm. saying is that you need to be smart when choosing your mate. You mean only date a man with money? <laughs> no, of course not. <sighs> and look, you're only in high school. All I'm saying is that the decisions that you make now with boys can have an effect on you later in life as well. I mean... No one knows better than me. I got caught up with the wrong boy in high school, and it took me a long time to grow up and realize what I deserved. Now, I like Charlie, but I'm just saying that you have to be realistic. Okay. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> uh, is this... It? Yeah, these are all the family albums down to the year I was born. Okay, well, we're gonna want to pull about 40 to 50 picks for the collage. So let's have a look. 
Huh. Seems strange. There's not any photos from your birth. It's kind of weird. Huh. Maybe you were adopted. I mean, you don't really look that much like Kayla or that much like your father, for that matter. <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm sure they're in a, a separate special album or something from the hospital. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Hey, hon. Hi. What's going on? I'm just pulling photos for the collage that Lindy's projecting at the party. How's Shonda? She's good. She's barking orders at the nurses, and um, she's eating, so I think she's going to be just fine. <laughs> yeah. How was the venue? Mm. It's perfect. Good. Well, that's great. Um, we are so tired, honey. Um, when you go to bed, okay? I'll make you breakfast in the morning. There aren't any photos of me with you guys at the hospital when I was born. Why not? Mom? Dad? Where are my birth photos? Honey? It was always our intention to tell you after your 16th birthday. That's always... Tell me what? Honey, you were ours. When you were less than a month old, you were ours then. I'm adopted! You've always been ours. I'm adopted! And you both kept it from me. And now there's nothing that can be said anymore. I always wondered why I wasn't as good an artist as you, Mom. And why I didn't have your hair and your skin. Honey, you're an amazing artist. Why I didn't have any of Dad's features at all. And now I know that the people who were supposed to be my family, the people who lied to me, weren't even my family at all. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry to come here. Is I think Savannah just fell asleep because she didn't answer my text. Hey, you do not apologize. I am here for you always. You know that. Sunday, you didn't eat yesterday, you're not eating at all. Honey, I'm not hungry, okay? I, okay, but you need to eat something. Oh, it's my mom. 
So you probably knew that I was adopted, didn't you? Everyone knew except me. Carrie, your mom was a really kind and sweet and beautiful girl in school. Everyone loved her and she intimidated the hell out of me so I didn't always make things easy on her. I hoped you making the team and making you one of my best would help to make up for that. Carrie, I'm sure that your mother loves you as if you were her own. Yeah, but not so. Carrie! How did Carrie find out about her parents anyway? Apparently, she and Lindy were going through some old photos. Lindy wanted to create a collage, and she couldn't find any baby photos of Carrie, like, anywhere. Hey, why does it say low on the back of Cher's dog tie? Oh, um... That was my maiden name. Oh, okay. Okay, so why don't we um, order some yummy takeout and make a playlist for the DJ? You know, I... I should probably be getting home before my parents freak out again and start calling me. What, are we being, like, considerate of their feelings now, even though they weren't considerate of yours? I'm sorry. That was out of line. I just... I'm just still upset for you. It'll be fine. I mean, I'm still not talking to them, but... Uh, still, I should probably be getting home. Marlo? What are you doing here? I wanted to talk to you. A couple of years out of college, I assumed you adopted a baby girl. You were suddenly posting baby photos on social media without ever having posted you were pregnant. I didn't realize you followed me. Technically, I didn't. But I did. Um, anyway, you had just bought a, a beautiful house with your husband, and you both looked very happy, and I was happy for you. Believe it or not, I mean, maybe I was oh, a little jealous. I've always been jealous of you. Especially back in school. What? Marlo, you were the most popular, beautiful girl in school. Why would you ever be jealous of me? Well, people like me because I was pretty and fun to gossip about. People like you because you were kind. And artistic. And you cared about things that mattered. Your daughter, she's like you. She wants to help people and she is just good at anything she does. She is your daughter through and through. You know that. Thank you. Unfortunately, she's not talking to me right now. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I hope she comes around. Anyway, the reason that I stopped by is to tell you that I think you need to be very careful around your party planner. What? Why would you say that? Did something happen? Um... She threatened to expose an affair I was having with a married co-worker and have us both fired if I didn't let the dance team perform at Carrie's party. When? Last week, she trespassed on my property and antagonized us like a crazy person. Wow, I... I, I mean, that's crazy. I knew she was rigid in her party planning, but threatening you? Yeah, yeah, I know. It does sound crazy. And that's why I wanted to tell you the truth about everything else first. I really don't think you should trust her around your daughter. Thank you. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Me 
you seem better today. Did you finally talk to your parents? No, but I did finally get some sleep. Thank you guys for being so sweet and checking on me so much. You're welcome. Maybe now you can talk to your mom so she'll stop texting me to check in on you? I'm gonna have to talk to them eventually, huh? Yes, you are. You so sure about that? Well, I mean, they've only been lying to you for what? The past 15 years? Hi, guys. Uh, Lindy, hey, uh, what are you doing here? Today's the day we try on your dress. For the party, you didn't forget, did you? I'm, um, I'm so sorry. I, I totally forgot. Uh, uh guys, I'll, I'll see you later. I. Yeah, yeah. I'll text you later. Okay. Bye. That was weird. Yeah. Do you think she followed us here after school? I don't know. I mean, unless she has a GPS tracking device on Gary's phone. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, uh, that lady gives me the creeps. Yeah. I really liked her at first, but I mean, now? What was that? That was weird. You should text her mom. Are you sure you're OK now? <sighs> yeah. I'm fine. I just have to talk to my mother now is all. Why are you still calling her that? Your mother? Because she is. I mean, despite everything that's happened, I just... I don't, I don't want to ruin anything for the party, you know? Lindy, hi. Um, I'm not sure why what's happening with our family is any of your business, but can you tell me where you've had my daughter for the last three hours? Sure, we just went to pick up her dress, and then we grabbed a quick salad. Well, you didn't tell us any of that. You also didn't tell us you were dropping her off last night either, so... Well, she needed to work on her routine last night, and someone needed to help her. I know she wasn't speaking to you, so... Carrie, honey, is all of this true? Of course, Mom. Why wouldn't it be? Just wondering, because uh, Lindy's been hiding some other things from us. Oh, I'm keeping secrets hidden now. <laughs> That's rich. Yeah, Mom, what are you talking about? Apparently, Lindy here threatened one of your teachers at your school and used you as her reason for doing it. I have no idea what you're talking about. That's ludicrous. Just another lie. Lindy, we appreciate everything you've done to get this party ready, but we're going to take it from here. Yeah, we're done. Give me a second to explain. It, it meant nothing, okay? It was... Linda, it was, remove your hand from my daughter before I remove it myself. You're fired. for what happened earlier. It's all just a big misunderstanding. Look, I know that I've been a little off with you lately, and I'm sorry. It's just been years since I lost the baby. It's just been so nice getting to spend this time with you and getting closer to you. Please forgive me, Carrie. Okay? We'll talk soon, okay? You okay? I'll call you back in a little bit. All right. Bye. apologize for not telling you sooner. You did what you felt you had to do, and I thought about it too, and it's not really a right time, huh? No. I love you, Mom, and Dad, too. And I really missed our breakfast this week together. Especially Dad's cooking. <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> Come here. Oh, babe. Oh, God. What? It's Lindy again. 
<laughs> Can I have a ride home? Duh. Come on. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carrie Berry. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Guys, my birthday is tomorrow. Yeah, we know, but since you're having so much fun and your big birthday bash tomorrow, you're not going to have any time for dear old mom and dad. We thought we'd like to celebrate it with you tonight here. So, um, here, I made you a cupcake uh, from scratch, so enjoy. <sighs> she likes it. Told you. <laughs> Dad, it's it's delicious. Yeah, yeah, I know it is. It really hits the spot. <laughs> is that what I think it is? Go ahead, open it. Open it, open it. <clears throat> mm. You wanted a birth photo of you and me. That's as real as it felt. And you guys are real parents as, as any birth parent could ever be, but to me, even more so. Huh? Come Go on, yeah. Here. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's capture the moment. Dad. Are you ready? I know. Ready? Oh, don't worry about it. This is your good side, isn't it? We won't post it. It's right. And three, and two. We should never have been seeing each other to begin with. You're married. I know, but not anymore. We've got our jobs to think about, and you have got a family that you need to focus on. I gotta go. Good night. Hello? It's good to meet you. Good yeah. To see you. Sometimes I feel, feel like my dreams might be dreams forever. Ooh. And sometimes I think that life really did, did a number. Oh, wow, honey. On me. You look uh, absolutely stunning. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, what he said. Exactly. Oh. Uh, have you heard from Mom? Oh, no, not yet. I'm sure she had held up at the gallery. Do you think that we should go down there? No, of course not. No, don't be silly. Go to the party. I'll just wait here for her in case she needs me. It's not a big deal. Do you mind driving her? Can I trust you? Of course. I won't pull up. Well, this is her. Uh, sorry, I'm behind. About to come home to get ready. You go to the party without me. Be there ASAP. Okay, well, I guess we're going together.
princess. Oh, no, no, no. <sighs> now she looks like the princess. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Of course. Are you girls ready to slay? Uh, yeah. The party's waiting for you. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Are you okay? Oh, that bitch is nuts! Did she say why? She's crazy! We have to find my phone and call the cops. Excuse me, little creep. Give me that. This is Carrie's Sweet 16. And I'm not about to let anyone ruin it. So get out of here before I have you arrested for minor in possession. Where are you now? That one's from me. Lindy! I almost didn't come, but I needed to apologize to you in person. I feel really bad about what happened the other night. I just wanted tonight to be perfect is all. Yeah, no, it's, it's fine that you came. Um, you put this all together and it's really, really nice. It means a lot. Well, I'm so glad you like it. <laughs> How's Cher? Oh, um, she's good. She misses you. She'd love it if you'd stop by. Yeah, um, maybe next week. That would be lovely. Go on. Open it. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Lindy, it's... That's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I got it quite some time ago. It's, uh, priceless. Practically an antique now.
can you just keep the party going? Here, yeah, where, wait, where are you going? I'm I just, just keep everyone going, and I'll be back no, as soon as I'm. No, 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 Carrie, Carrie, it's your big day. What? <laughs> it's good. It's good. Let's get the music going. I cannot believe she stole this painting, too. My phone's not in here. I mean, she's the one who attacked Shonda that night at the gallery. <gasps> Both of you, stay right there. Lindy. What? Why? What's Something's not right. I think that she has my mom's phone. I I, I need to follow her. Okay, well, I'll, I'll try. Okay, I'm gonna text my dad. Wait, do we need a... do we need a weapon? Marlo, you're not a killer. No? No. Why don't you ask my dead husband about that? Or that lame-ass party planner you tried to hire over me? Sometimes we have no choice. If you fire that gun out here, the neighbors will call the police. Yeah, exactly. And all they're gonna find is this gun in Marlo's dead hand with your body slumped over it. But Lindy, that's not Marlo's gun. That's your gun. Wrong! It's yours. Or did you not check all the things I got petty cash for while party planning, huh? You know, it's amazing. You can get just the right amount of cash needed to get a gun on the black market. Which your glove box will confirm receipt of. And Marlo just barely got this gun away from you before you were left with no choice but to snap her neck with the rope on that obnoxious whistle. Hey, Lindy! Do you? No, but I, I will shoot you. <sighs> Carrie. Don't you see? I am your mother. <sighs> yes. I am her mother. Carrie is my daughter. <laughs> see, I gave you up when I was 16. I didn't want to. It was right before my own sweet 16 and my mother made me. That ballerina snow globe that I gave you, that was the first thing that I ever bought you. 
and the only thing that I had left of you until I finally found you again. <sighs> That's impossible! My husband, he had connections to the California Birth Records Office, so I was able to find you fairly easily. But you told me you couldn't have kids! <laughs> That's right, sweetheart. I can't now. Right before my husband died, I found out I have secondary infertility. So, Carrie? Sweetheart, you, honey, are the only child that I will ever have. Mindy. She's the only child I'll ever have, too. She's my daughter, too. You need help. We can get you help. Let us help you, please. The only thing I need is my baby girl back. <laughs> Harley, are you okay? Oh, oh God. Are you okay? Uh -huh. Oh, my God. What? Is she dead? Is she dead? Uh, I think so. Got some wine. Great. Isn't that amazing? Don't forget to get some food. It's okay. Thank you so much for coming. Fabulous, right? What an amazing turnout. Right? Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Teamwork. Hey. Hey, Charlie. It's good to see you. Good to see you, too. She's right over there. Hey. Hey, you came. I did. Is this one yours? Yeah, that's mine. It only took me the rest of the semester to finish it. Wow, Perry, it's gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's really incredible. Thank you. You know, I think she does get her artistic talent from me. No doubt about that, Mom. 